Hey guys, welcome to the channel. On today's run episode, we're going to be talking about heel drop. What is it, why do you care, and will it make you faster? Why, hello there. I've been thinking about you all day. You've been running through my mind. Heel toe drop. It is a measurement of the offset between the heel here and the toe here. The heel drop on these shoes is four millimeters. That means it's four millimeters from the heel boop, 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 to the toe. So the reason you hear about this when you're buying shoes is because it can be a factor in performance and running performance. Uh, people like to connect the dots a few different ways, but this is generally how they like to do it. A lower heel toe drop means that you land more on your midfoot, middle of your foot, right here. When you land lower on your midfoot, that means that your turnover is gonna be a little quicker. And then because your turnover is a little quicker, you're gonna have better running economy and thus better running times, better running performance. So that's how people like to connect the dots. The literature is a little interesting on this. One study measured running economy between barefoot, low drop, and normal running shoe runners. It did find that the stride rate was higher among the barefoot and the low drop runners, but it didn't lead to a statistical improvement in running economy. One study was actually pretty interesting. It did find an improvement in running economy and thus a corresponding improvement in 5k time trial times, but 79% of that improvement in running economy was actually due to reduced shoe mass. So basically the minimalist shoe was lighter and so there was a better running economy. Like you can find high drop shoes with a low weight. That's very possible. I'll link both of those studies below. And personally, anecdotally, I used to run in higher drop shoes that were about 10 to 12 millimeter. Over the years, I've tried different shoes and naturally I've gone down to a lower heel toe drop. For whatever reason for me it feels more comfortable. Personally I wouldn't I wouldn't believe anybody who says that it has to be one way or the other. Some people prefer to run in lower drop shoes. Some people prefer to run in higher drop shoes. And I could be mistaken if I am mistaken I'll, I'll put a little blurb right here but I believe the world record in the marathon was set in a pair of shoes that were something like 8 to 10 millimeters. There are some theories that say since there's a lower heel toe offset and you land more on the midfoot you might be less injury prone. Mm. One study took two groups of runners and basically trained them to be midfoot strikers. One group they put in progressively lower drop shoes over three months. The other group actually had like a stride retraining. They did find that the people who were in gradually lower drop shoes had less impact on the heel, but whether this correlated with reduced injury risk or more importantly improved performance, it was inconclusive. Another study took 10 millimeter, six millimeter, and zero millimeter drop shoes in a group of runners over six months to see if any injury risks were mitigated, and they weren't. It was all pretty much the same. Again, linked below. There's also a school of thought that says it doesn't really matter what shoes you wear. If you're a good runner and you put in the training that over time you'll pretty much adapt to whatever you put on. You can kind of understand that basically saying if you take like a world-class marathoner and put them in a few different types of shoes, they're probably going to perform more or less the same, right? I guess that can kind of make sense. So takeaways from this, I would honestly see what works for you. Buy three pairs of shoes, try them on for a little while, run in them a few times, and see what feels comfortable. Some people like having a higher heel toe offset. Some people like having a lower one. It really depends on what works for you, what makes you comfortable, and also what keeps you from getting injured. Usually the rule of thumb with running is if there's something that you've been doing for a while and there's no problems, don't try to fix it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Roadrunner Sports, totally unsponsored message. They have a cool deal where you can try shoes for three months and if you don't like it, you can send them back. I'll link them in the description below. So the key takeaway is try a few different pairs of shoes, see what works, see what doesn't, and have fun with it. Mm -hmm.